So this is a completed engagement ring right here, okay? Take a look at this pear-shaped center stone. All right, 6.03 carats, HVS2, okay? So this is an incredible engagement ring. Now let's talk about it and let's talk about price. What kind of price are you thinking about for an engagement ring like this off the top of your head, right? This engagement ring costs a quarter of a million dollars. Now, I know not everybody has a quarter of a million dollars. There's plenty of affordable engagement rings all over TracksYC.com and so on and so forth. But let's talk about the appraisal for this ring, right? VS2H, excellent, excellent, so on and so forth. Now, I showed you this, I've shown you this appraisal report just so in your mind you could say that's not GIA. Well, the GIA is right here. This is an appraisal for the ring. This is an appraisal for the diamond, right? So you'd know the difference between the two. All right, now if somebody sees this and they think they got something going on a quarter million dollars, indeed you want a GIA certified stone. They know what they're doing. There's really not a lot of ways around it. Sure, there's some stones that are uncertified that you could go with and so on and so forth. This is a natural diamond. Let's talk about what's going on. VS2, you could get VS1, you could get VVS, not necessary. This is the floor. H, even I is okay, VS2, Polish, symmetry, and no fluorescence. Faint fluorescence is okay. Uh, very good, very good is also okay for me. It, those things are not things that are gonna make and break the ring. But this ring has it all, this diamond has it all. VS2, it's got the clarity that you want, the desirable clarity. It's in the VS spectrum, it's in the H color. Excellent, excellent with no fluorescence. All those uh, factors combined is how you really want to make things happen and how you really want these rings uh, to end up. So this is an engagement ring uh, of a lifetime. The mounting was made specific to the stone. It's flanked by beautiful baguette cut diamonds, specially cut. Now a ring like this costs a quarter of a million dollars. Let's look at some other diamonds and get some prices. My favorite stone Right here is, we have a cushion cut and an emerald cut roughly around the same size. Guess the clarity on the emerald cut. Very difficult to do that, right? Guess the, you're not gonna guess the clarity, but we're gonna open it up and we're gonna look at it. What is the clarity? What is the clarity? What is the clarity? Do you think that the clarity on this stone is better or worse than the pear shape? And you could see the size. You could see this, the difference is one carat size difference exactly. The clarity is a VVS2 H color. Excellent, excellent. Faint fluorescence. Faint fluorescence is okay. So what is the price for a diamond like this? So $125,000 is what you're looking at. This is a, you know, for that one carat difference here, it's a big price jump, but that's the way diamonds are. You have to mine thousands and thousands of carats stones and everything, everybody's going through hell to get this going. And now the cushion cut. VS1, lower, uh, what do you call it, an H color. So we have VVS2 and VS1. This is the, uh, the two stones. And you got 5.02 carats here, 5.08 uh, carats here. This stone, do you think this stone, even though this is VVS2, and this is VS1. Do you think this stone is cheaper or more expensive? Which one is more expensive, the cushion or this? Bearing in mind, the, the emerald cut is higher in carat, higher in clarity, and yet, for some reason, it is less expensive by $5,000. The cushion cut is $130,000, okay? No fluorescence. And it's not the reason of the fluorescence. This is a more desirable cut, right? People prefer cushion cut over, over emerald. And let's look at them side by side. For everybody who's shopping for diamonds that are expensive, I'm giving you guys without a headache from the convenience of your own home or wherever you're at, the prices of stones like this and the comparison. So when you're doing business, you're doing business correctly. This is extremely important to see. You see the difference between the cushion and the emerald. If your, uh, you know, girl is interested in the emerald and they come in different prices, different shapes, different sizes. You can get a 70 pointer surrounded with some diamonds, they'll still look beautiful. If you're getting the emerald cut, you're saving money. 
because it's less desirable of a cut. If you get in a cushion cut, it's more desirable of a cut, so you would be paying a slight premium. They're both cut the way they're supposed to, but you got more surface area with the cushion, even though the carrot weight is less. Now let's compare that to, let's say, one of these oval cuts. Do we have one of these here? Now we have a 5.09 HSI-1 right here. All these stones are in the same range. Look how beautiful that looks. And this is an option for who wants what. This is a SI-1 and it's $110,000. It's the cheaper of all of these. It's got a beautiful surface area. It looks the biggest. It looks huge, but again, that's the way it's cut. It's cut with less depth and more surface area, and the cut is excellent, excellent. It's got a little something in there, but I don't see it. So, well, actually, I do see it. So, three stones, three cuts, between, uh, you know, $125,000, $130,000, dollars SIH, right, you know, eye color, bare minimum, SI2, bare minimum quality, very good, very good. Uh, a faint fluorescence, that is gonna save you some money on all, these, uh, on all these factors and still give you something that to the naked eye looks just as good. Let's talk about this stone right here, right? The round stone. And this is exact same. Again, the carat weight is exact same. 5.07 I SI1. Right, so you have an I color, you have an H color, you have a, you have a SI1 again with excellent, excellent, no fluorescence, $105,000. All these stones are almost exactly the same, except with a couple of clarity uh, downgrades and upgrades. A VVS2 versus an SI1, but you know, it's, it's really all about desirability and budget. I am fully aware that not everybody can afford a $130,000, $150,000, dollars diamond. You don't have to buy a $140,000 diamond, okay? You could get beautiful diamonds for $4,000, $3,000 and make beautiful engagement rings. You need a personal jeweler that cares about you, cares about your engagement, cares about what's going on. Which stone is right for the girl that you're gonna get engaged with? Is she gonna want an oval cut, put into a beautiful uh, setting in rose gold? Does she wanna stay Tiffany style with a round? Does she wanna do something exclusive with the emerald or a cushion cut? with a beautiful halo around it and Asher cuts going around the band. That's up to you to figure out. I know how to make, I know how to guarantee. You, could, you might not even met the girl yet. She's gonna say yes with the engagement ring we're gonna make. 